Okay, so today we're going to be talking about an important topic um, as far as how you can get better results as an affiliate. Um, this was one of the things that led to a big breakthrough for Peter and I back in 2015. Okay, so basically this breakthrough is finding other people that are succeeding in the same stuff that you're succeeding in and just becoming friends with them and having them be part of your uh, daily network. Okay, so between 2012 and 2015, Peter and I were almost siloed off in our own little bubble. We really had no friends in the affiliate marketing industry. We really didn't know anyone else doing it. The only, the only information that we were getting was just from you know YouTube videos and courses and stuff that we were learning digitally, but we really had nobody to actually talk to about this stuff, which made it very, very hard to succeed. So between 2015 or 2012 to 2015, as many people know, Peter and I really struggled to make any money. We basically broke even or lost money in that three year period of time. However, around 2015, Peter and I started to um, start to become more social in the affiliate marketing community. We started to go to um, conferences. We started to seek out people to build relationships with that were in the affiliate marketing industry. And we just started to make more friends here, right? And as a result, we started to actually have a massive breakthrough because other people were starting to share things with us that were working with them. We were sharing things back with them. And just the reciprocity of having these different ideas coming in um, really gave us a huge breakthrough, right? So there's a saying out there that says, you know, make more, make war with a multitude of counselors, right? And this is what affiliate marketing is. Affiliate marketing is war. You're at a, you're in a war to get profitable. You're at a war to, you know, cut out what doesn't work and push forward the best stuff that makes the most money. So it's hard to go through this journey by yourself as an affiliate if you're just like a one man show and you're siloed off by yourself and you're not, you know, networking with other people and building relationships, it can honestly just be so hard to break through. And that's what Peter and I really struggled with personally during that first three year period of time. So I know it can be hard to find other people that are having success that you can be friends with, but it's also one of the reasons why we created our community. So our Facebook group is called Affiliates Ask Anything. And if you're watching this, you're probably already involved. But, you know, if you're if you're in that group and you haven't been doing much relationship building, you should really start because we're starting to build a pretty awesome community there. And there's a lot of people that are just helping each other. Right. So if you see somebody that's having results, just, um, you know, start to foster relationships. Right. And the most important thing is that you're bringing something to the table. So. You know, if you're um, all you're doing is just taking, 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 taking from other people, then, you know, eventually they're not going to want to talk to you anymore. But if you can help them with stuff, if you can share ideas with them back that help them in return, that's how you can create a win win situation between affiliates. So, you know, there's always the aspect in affiliate marketing of, you know, competing with people and, and stuff like that. So, you know, you do need to be careful about um, sharing everything with everybody. But you know, even if you're not sharing like all the finest little campaign details with people um, or people aren't sharing them with you, it's still important just to have that network, right? Um, I can't tell you how many times like I was running a campaign back in 2015 and the results started to go down and I would just hit up like a buddy of mine who was running the same thing and I'd be like, how are you doing today? He'd be like, oh, I'm crushing it. I'd be like, okay, like good. This is just me. Um, you know, I need to now go back to the drawing board and figure out a better ad or do something like that. So if it was just only me siloed off, I would have probably quit at those times when the, when the results went negative or whatever. But knowing somebody else that was there succeeding on it that I could talk to just really pushed me forward and helped me make a lot more money. Um, you know, also a little friendly competition never hurts either. Um, pushing each other to, to outperform each other's numbers, um, stuff like that can actually be beneficial sometimes, right? Um, you know, the most important thing too to realize about the affiliate space is that you shouldn't you shouldn't worry about competition like as much as you think because in the space that we're in here, in this lead gen 
type of space with the way that we're running these campaigns and the type of offers that we're running, there's really not a lot of competition. I mean, if you took everybody that was doing this stuff and put them in one room, I mean, it would probably literally like hardly fill up um, just, you know, like a single house or something, right? So <laughs> I don't know. But basically what I'm saying is that there's not a lot of competition here. And if anything, the industry could probably benefit from a little bit more competition in the space because the more people that there are running these campaigns, the more people there are finding different things that profit. Um, there are more offers coming on board if there's more people running these type of campaigns and the whole space should just grow. Uh, you know, this is really where the, the industry is moving towards anyway. I mean, think about the way that sure, that affiliate marketing has traditionally been. There's people have really only been running in like five major verticals at first, right? Like the, the only affiliate marketing offers that were even out there were like weight loss, skin, diet, dating, adult, um, casino, stuff like that. Now there's all these legitimate industries coming on board that are all going to need traffic, that are all going to have really good offers. And, you know, having no competition isn't necessarily a good thing because then you have to do everything yourself. Like you need to literally reinvent the wheel on every campaign that you're moving into. But if there's a little bit of competition, there's people that you can feed off of that are already succeeding, that can inspire you um, with ideas and stuff like that it can make it easier to work, right? So it's sort of a phenomenon, um, you know, but basically the, the, the main idea behind this video was you need to start building out your network, right? So you, re you really can't be like, like this, um, this lion here in the, in the affiliate marketing space, you know? Um, you know, it's, it's kind of, um, <laughs> It's kind of funny that that's in the background there, but that's really the opposite of what you want to do. You don't want to just be a lone, you know, lion in this space. You want to have a pack of people around you, a wolf pack of people that are all succeeding and all making money that can all, uh, that can lift you up with them to succeed. Okay. So what you should do if you don't have this and you're trying to make affiliate marketing work and you're just not getting the results that you want. Just start making friends, guys. Just start messaging people. Just start, you know, talking to people. Just start going to conferences. Start meeting people in person that might be in your area that do this stuff. It's just so, so important, guys. So that's why I put such a big focus on the community side um, of the business. Like it doesn't really make money, but it's it's so valuable because all the relationships that are being built um, they're just, they're just tremendously valuable guys. Right. So anyways, um, that was basically the point of this video. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll talk to you soon.